Hi, my name's Chloe from Go Chloe Pilates and this is Good Moves with Well and Good. Today, I'm taking you through a Pilates workout using a towel. So grab yourself a towel, have it close by. I've just got a hand towel. If you are on a carpeted surface, you wanna use a paper plate or something that your feet will slide on instead, but also grab a towel because we're gonna hit the mat later in the workout for a bit of core work. So you ready? Let's do it. What you're gonna do to start is grab the towel and just sort of roll it up so that you can hold onto it like that. And you wanna hold it about shoulder width distance apart, all right? And then stand with your feet about hip width distance, your toes are pointing forward, your arms are gonna drop down in front of you, roll your shoulders back, ground into your heels, and we're gonna sit into a squat. You're gonna sink your hips behind you, arms reach forward, and then come all the way up. Now I want you to imagine like you're gonna pull that towel apart, like you're pulling it out to activate a bit more into our shoulders as well as the legs as we squat. As you bend into the knee, send your weight back. Arms go straight out in front of you. That's it. But the shoulder blades still gently pull back behind your body. <sighs> Breathing in. Exhaling to lift. <sighs> Good. Squat. Make sure your knees track out over your middle toes as you sink down into your squats each time. <sighs> Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. We're here for five and four. Pull that towel apart for three and two. On this next one, come down, hold it down there from here. You're gonna drop your arms down, drop the towel down towards your knees, still pull apart, roll your shoulders back, and then you're gonna take your arms up all the way up, 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 as high as you can get them. Breathe in, lower down, breathe out to lift. We lower. We lift, we lower, we lift. See if you can sink down a little lower. Think about drawing rib cage in, belly button in towards the spine. We want a straight line from the crown of the head to the tailbone. We go for five and four and three. Last two, last one, lift up, hold it up there. Shoulder blades slide down your back and just pulse down for 10, nine, eight, seven, pull it apart, six, five, four, three, two, and one, come all the way upright. Give it a little shake out. From here, I'm just gonna fold up my towel so it's a little bit smaller. We're gonna place it down on the floor and you're gonna take your right foot on the towel, your left foot just down. You wanna have a little bit of space now behind you and a little bit of space to the side of you. Take your hands onto your hips and then sit into a little squat, like a half squat. So hips still sink behind us, shoulders draw back, knees track out over the middle toes and you're gonna shift the weight now into that left leg. Dig into that left heel, your right leg, lift up onto the toes and then slide it out to the right and then bring it all the way back in. We slide it out, we bring it in. Exhale, open, inhale to slide it in. And in, go really slow here. We want most of the weight, pretty much all of the weight, ideally, in that stabilizing leg, in that left leg. See if you can push the knee a little wider because it wants to roll in, it always does. That little knee of ours. And in, keep it going for four, and three, and two, and one. Bring it in, stand it up, it's your mini little break. We sit back into that little squat, that half squat. This time we send the leg behind us. Slide it behind you, and then bring it back in. Reach, bring it in. Exhale as you slide it back. Inhale to pull it in. And by now you should have realized that even though the right leg is moving, it's the left leg that's doing all the work. All the stabilizing, reach and fold it in. That's it, keep it going, open and in. Good, we're here for five and four and three and two. One more like that, bring it in, stand up. Give it a little hip shimmy, shake out. All right, we're gonna kind of combine those movements now. We're gonna sink back into that squat. You're gonna swing it out to the side, out to the side first, and then we're gonna swing it behind us, and then we're gonna swing it back out to the side. It's like we're cleaning the floor, really. 
and open out to the side. Swing it back, breathe in, breathe out, pull it back open to the side. The goal here is to keep the pelvis really still. So wrap your hands around those hips, try and keep it really still, that pelvis. Good for three. And two, okay, last one, swing it behind you. And then keep it swinging back. So you're like back on a diagonal and we're gonna bend into that back knee. We find a little lunge and we're gonna pulse it out here. Bend and lift for 10, nine, sink lower, eight, seven for six, five, stay with it, four, three, two, and one, bring it all the way forward and fold it down. Give yourself a little stretch here. Hold it down in that forward fold. Take a big breath in and out. Little bend in the knees, roll it all the way up. All right, we take it over to the other side, to the other foot, take your hands onto your hips. Make sure as well, again, on this side, you have a little bit of space around you now that you know it's coming. We sink first into that small squat, so that half squat, hips sink back chest hinges forward and we ground down now into that right leg. Lift up onto your left toes and slide that left leg out to the side and then slide it on back in. Reach it out, bring it back in and in. Good, now we're shifting the focus to that right leg. Think about all the weight coming down through that right heel. That right knee gently opens and spirals out. We breathe, good, feeling that work, good. On that right leg, so good this exercise. It sort of replicates a scooter on the reformer. So if you've ever done any reformer Pilates, it's quite similar to that. We're here for three and two and one. Bring it in, stand it up. Here's your very mini little break. <laughs> and then we come straight back down. Sink those hips back again, ground into that right leg, that right heel, lift the left heel up. We slide it behind us now and we slide it in. And in. this is a great series for anyone who does a lot of walking or running because it really builds that functional strength around the pelvis and around the hips and around the glutes, which is so important for knee control and ankle control when you run and when you walk. Good, we're here for four, and three, and two. One more, bring it in, stand it up. Little shake. <laughs> we come back down and we come into those slides. We slide it out to the side and then we're gonna take it for a little journey behind us and then we swing it back out to the side. The first couple are always the hardest when you sort of get the hang of it, right? We swing it back, breathe in. Breathe out, swing it back out to the side. Trying to keep the pelvis as still as possible. Good, it's that swing back out to the side that really gets you, in my opinion. Push that knee a little wider, keep the hip sinking back. Good, for four. And three. And two, on this last one, we're gonna swing it back, but we're gonna take it all the way back on a diagonal, and then we're gonna bend down, and we're gonna pulse. Whew. Get low, get low, and keep it going for 10, nine, eight, seven, stay with it, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it forward and fold it down. Whew. Take a breath and let it go round your body all the way up. Right, you're gonna take the towel back to your right foot now, right toes, and we're gonna come on down onto our knees. We're gonna come into some plank work. Hands are gonna come down, spread the fingers wide underneath the shoulders, lift through your chest like you're pushing the mat away from you. Take your left foot back first, the one not on the towel, and then slide your right leg back to meet it. Lift the chest, tuck the tailbone under from here. You're gonna take that right knee towards your right elbow, slide it in, slide it back, and then you're gonna take your right knee to your left elbow. So it goes across the body, allow the hips to twist a little, and then slide it back. We go right knee, right elbow, right knee to left elbow, breathe out. <sighs> breathe in, swing it back. Exhale in, inhale back. <sighs> That's it, keep it going, in and out. Try and stay light 
on those right toes, even though the leg is sliding across the floor, get lighter on those toes. You'll work more into those abdominal muscles. Press through the hands. Tiny, tiny bend in your elbows, so small. You can hardly see it, but it's there. One more. Each elbow, and then bring it in. Bring the other leg in. Just come into like a little crouch position. Give your wrists a shake out. Let's take that to the other side. Make sure the towel is on your left toes now. Hands come forward. Lift through that chest. Step your right foot back first. Ground into those toes and then with control, slide that left leg back. We take the left knee to the left elbow. We take it back and then we take the left knee across the body towards the right elbow and we take it back. <sighs> Exhale, in, inhale back. So allow, remember, the pelvis to twist as you take it across to the right side. <sighs> That's it, and across. <sighs> and across, keep it going. Good, find a pace that feels good for you. Get light on those left toes. Nice, we are here for four, three, two, last one. Slide it in, step the other leg in, give it a little shake out, nice. From here, we're gonna finish with a little bit more core work. So take yourself onto your mat, grab onto your towel, and we wanna make it like sort of long. I'm gonna fold it in half, long ways, and then half again, so it's like this. And then take a, a lay down onto your back and we're gonna hook the towel underneath your head. So it's sort of the base of your skull right at the top of your neck and you're holding onto each end. And then you're gonna take it sort of across and around the side of your face. So it sort of comes over your ears. Pull your elbows in close. Feet are gonna start flat onto the mat. A Little bit of space between the low back and the mat. And now pull a little bit on the towel and curl up with your head and chest, and then lower straight back down. So we're gonna breathe out, curl up, <sighs> breathe into lower. And we wanna try and use the support from the towel with the head, and we wanna use the backs of the arms a little bit as well. Keep the elbows narrow, so in line with the shoulders. <sighs> the chin a little tucked. <sighs> and we go straight up and down. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. <sighs> and down, keep it going. If this is enough for you, stay right here if you want a little more. Curl up, float your legs to tabletop, knees hip width distance apart, and we keep it going. Inhale, lower, exhale to lift. That's it. Nice and slow, controlled and smooth. If this is enough for you, stay right here. Those who wanna add on, we're gonna add a leg. As you curl, option to extend your leg away, and we're gonna alternate. Other side extends away, fold it in as you lower. And lower, exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Keep pressing firmly into that towel so the head and neck feel supported here as we lift and we lower. Good, strong exhales out. Keep this going. If this is enough for you, stay right here. The last variation for those who want to take it, take your legs together and as you curl, extend both legs out, pull them back to tabletop as you lower. And in. So option to take both legs out. The lower the legs go, the harder this is going to feel. Wherever you are, we're here for five, for four, for three, for two, last one. Bring it all the way in. Take that towel, pop it off to the side. Give your knees a hug in towards your chest, a big squeeze. Just rock side to side. And then just roll yourself up into sitting. And once you get there, you're all done. Thank you so much for joining me for that towel workout. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want more. My name's Chloe from Go Chloe Pilates and this is Good Moves with Well and Good. I'll see you soon.